All right, today I'm going to take a uh, look at the results of my great white experiment. For the purpose of the entire pictures and the video that you're going to watch here, A will stay on the left side, B will stay on the right side, and you guys can be uh, the judge with the rest. At the end of the video, I'll tell you which one is what. All right, so we're going to continue the uh, great white test. What I've done with the other plants is I've taken uh, one of each and I've popped them into the tray. These two are uh, just other plants that I'm working on for my uh, Dutch buckets. But the uh, four big cups on either side, they are part of the great white test. So I've marked them A and B so we can be totally, uh, or you guys can be totally unbiased as to which ones you think are better. For the uh, purpose of the control, They'll both get the exact same nutrient solution. It's not going to be out of my reservoir this time. It's just going to be a uh, seedling mix on uh, great white. And all I've done with the great white is given them a dusting uh, on the whole root zone and on the hole when I planted it. So that's the way it's going to be set up. The seedlings are now at day number three from the time that they were planted. I used the paper towel method on all of them. Great white is only been used on the same seedlings, so there's been no cross-contamination. I've been sure to wash my hands, so I've done what I can to uh, make this test as fair as I can. As you can see, there was quite a dramatic difference in the rooting and uh, honestly the video doesn't do it justice, just feeling the plant and the plant structure. I'm pretty happy with the uh, mycos and what they did, so I'll be continuing to use the Great White. The B side was the uh, myco or the Great White inoculated for those that didn't know and it only went on to the seedlings initially and once I transplanted the seedling from the paper towel into the perlite containers. <music> 